Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What? There goes the box. Good morning, everybody. I am opening <laughs> boxes of Oracle cards and then one just it jumped. It's on the floor. Anyway, uh, welcome to Coffee Break with Tarot by Laura Gonzalez. My name is, you guess, Laura Gonzalez. And today we are doing oracles because it's the belly of the week. It's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we do oracles. So I'm very happy to see you today. Hi, Betty. And hi, Alex. Welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody on IGTV. What's up? Leave me comments. Why you don't leave me comments, IGTV? Hi, Julie. And hi, um, YouTube and Twitter. So today we're doing oracles. And this is the one box that fell on the floor. Well, the other half. Um, I'm doing Stacey DeMarco Halloween Oracle. Stacey and Mark is going to be on my show, Lunatic Mondays, on July 26th. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> I do podcasts. It's called Lunatic Mondays, and I interview various authors and pagans and witches and people whom are interesting. And one of them is Stacey and Marco, and she's going to be on my show on the 26th of July more information, find Lunatic Mondays on Facebook and you'll find the show. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? And the second oracle that we're going to use is the Liminal Spaces by Laura Tempesakroff. And guess what? <laughs> I'm also interviewing Laura Tempesakroff sometime in July, on August. I think it's going to be August 23rd that we will have Laura. Oops. We will have Laura Tempesakaroff on the show. And the last oracle we're going to use is the Celebration of Love by author Eva Shackman Sullivan. I don't know her, so I cannot interview her. Anyway, uh, let's see what the oracles have for us today. And if you are on the Chicagoland area on Saturday, come see me at inner art studios in oak park i will be back live in person at oak park inner art studios and i will be doing tarot readings there as per usual at reduced fees the festival fees you get the festival fees not the private session fees and if you want your private session of course i'm still doing online and i'm also doing in person so if you want to come and see me here at my house welcome all right so let's see what the first oracle has for us today <gasps> gabby did you bring your cats gabby hi gabby and hi carries and here's a cat so let's see what the cat dragged in ha 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 that is so funny i know that's right to be funny anyway um i've been doing readings at oak park for a long long time and of course, because of the pandemic, I stopped, but we are going back. So that is really a cool thing. And thank you, Carlos. And thank you, Inner Art Studios for welcome, welcoming us back. So the cat says, if I fit, I sit. Cats are known for perching anywhere they please. We tend to worry about whether we fit or not. And what will others think? Stop worrying about the opinions of others and make yourself comfortable. The world will adjust. I cannot tell you how much I love this message. It's just beautiful. So if I sit, if I fit, I sit. Cats are known for perching anywhere they please. We tend to worry about whether we fit or not. And what will others think? Stop worrying about the opinions of others and make yourself comfortable. The world will 
adjust. I am in love with that card today. And a uh, little known fact, yes, I'm a witch. No, I do not like cats. Don't cancel me, please. It's just not my thing. I like dogs. I'm a dog person. I'm a dog mom. My dog is right here. And I waited 20 some years to have a dog because I couldn't have a dog as a child. All right, so let's see what the, another animal, we have a unicorn this time and the card is empowerment. So let's see what the message for empowerment is. You are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something you are being inspired to let go of about, blah, I'm sorry. Let me read again. Um, you are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and to celebrate your divinity and how the creator wants only the best for you. Let me repeat that message because, of course, I have been called out left, left and right here. You two, are you being called out? I'm being called out. All right, so here we go. You are being challenged by a feeling of unworthiness about something. You are being inspired to let go of that illusion and celebrate your divinity and how the creator wants only the best for you. The cards are brutal today. I blame Gabby. I blame Gabby because Gabby is watching, so I blame Gabby for the car calling me out. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It, it has to happen. Anyway, hi, uh, Julie, and hi, Gentry, and hi, Susan. Witchy dog person. Go team. Are you a cat person or are you a dog person? You can't say I'm a both person. Because, no. <laughs> You either are a cat person or a dog person. Hi, Blair. My Blair. I have claimed Blair as mine. In case you didn't know. And she accepted. So, all right. Let's see what the Halloween oracles have to say. And we have the zombie. Ooh. Brains. <laughs> Alex says, cats all day. Betty says, a dog person. Alex, if people know you and they don't know you're a cat person, then we really have a problem in the world. Because I have never known anybody more passionate about their cats. Okay. Zombie, are you all ready? Should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, living little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that you are more easily manipulated and change to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you are not living your most authentic life, it's time to look at why and how to change that. Again, I blame it on Gabby. Gabby? <laughs> All right. Should the zombie step unsteadily into your life, it's time to look at the concept of control. Do you want to control everything, leaving little to free expression? Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that you are more easily manipulated? So that they are. See, I'm, I'm trying to manipulate the oracle. Do you choose partners who are not your equals so that they are more easily manipulated and changed to your liking? Or do you allow that to happen to you? If you are not living your most authentic life, 
it's time to look at why and how to change that. So thank you, Gabby, for coming to the <laughs> I'm I'm kidding. I'm not picking on Gabby. Gabby is my therapist and she's amazing. And that's why I keep saying it's Gabby's fault because she's watching. Um, but no, it's uh, of course these messages are for everyone. And if you feel called out, good. That means the medicine is taking effect. Um, because this readings are medicine. Thank you, goddess, for giving me the bag of medicine of being a talker, a seer, and a messenger. And uh, thank you everybody for watching. And as per usual, is Wednesday and we have gone over the time. Why do we go over the time every Wednesday? I do not know. But thank you all for watching. Uh, Tim Kitties, Tim Doggies, everybody's, uh, it's, it's pretty even here. Like people like dogs, people like cats. Anyway, thank you, Julie, Blair, Jennifer, Betty, Alex, Gavi, um, Suzanne, Julie, Gentry, Caris, Regina, Kathleen, and everybody who will watch later. I hope you enjoyed these messages for today. And to people watching on Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter, never forget that you are loved. Bye-bye.